Welcome to I Am The Ice Lords, 31 Days for 2021. Here is a list of other YouTube channels that are also participating in the 31 Days Challenge this year. Go visit their channels if you wish. If your channel is participating in the 31 Days Challenge this year and you don't see your name on the list, Leave a comment down below and I will add you to the list. If you wish to have your name removed from the list, just leave a comment down below and I will remove your name. Thank you for watching and please enjoy the show. Hello there friends and subscribers. Welcome to day 19 of the 31 Days of Horror 2021. I am the Ice Lord your host for today's review. Today's movie is a bit taboo. I wasn't sure I was going to cover it altogether, since last year the 13th Wolfman covered this on his 31 days. All I'm left with for today's review is 1972's Belith, an Italian film directed by Leopoldo Savona. It follows the story of Duke Leonello. He is a gentleman, a fencer, and his sister, Duchess Barbara, has returned to their childhood home after a year or so of being absent. Duchess Barbara has some alarming news for Leonello, though. She's gotten married, and it just so happens that Leonello is deeply romantically in love with his sister and has been since childhood. It also just so happens that there is a black-gloved killer in town who is preying upon women and prostitutes, and he wields a three-bladed instrument. Duchess Barbara has returned with her husband, Giordano, and Leonello is visibly shaken by this. There's no hiding it, it seems. And as the story further unfolds, we see the interactions of Duchess Barbara, Duke Leonello, and husband Giordano. As I was saying before, Leonello is not holding back on his obvious feelings of romance toward his sister. It's beginning to show. Giordano is noticing it, and so is his sister. And in some issuance of exposition, the local priest tells them the demon Belith is wreaking havoc among the people of the town. The husband, Giordano, decides to try and comfort Leonello by inviting his, is it niece or cousin, Floriana, to meet him, and hopefully they will fall in love. But this sends Leonello into a downward spiral, it seems. He begins to confront his feelings toward his sister, and he becomes closer and closer with a murderous demon that has been stalking him since his youth. I'm not going to be able to hide behind the storyline very much in this review, which is probably either a good or a bad thing for the review itself. But there's really not much to the storyline. It's very simple. This movie is chock full of nudity. Lots of boobs and bush. But the love scenes are done artistically and tastefully. The shot composition is exquisite. Except for a couple of cut scenes that seem to have been damaged. This is a Severin release. And I will leave a link in the description if it sounds interesting to you. I didn't really like the movie all that much. If I had to give it a score, I would give it about a 4.5 out of 10 stars. I liked the portrayals. I thought the man who played Leonello did a really good job. Everyone in the cast seems to give it their all. The sets and costume design for this movie as with many of the other movies of its time period, are pretty outstanding. But the editing and some of the cinematography leaves a bit to be desired. I didn't really like the score either. Even though it was an orchestral score, 
it seemed to be dreary and repetitive. As I was saying before, the storyline really is bare. A lot of the character interactions are not that interesting. The dialogue is plain. This movie was shot in Italy. The copy that I have was spoken in German and subtitled in English. So it's kind of an oddball. For whatever reason, that kind of withdrew me from the experience of watching the film. I'm not sure why. This movie is only around an hour and a half, but it's paced pretty well. The effects are marginal at best. Not that you have to have a lot of blood in a horror movie to make it effective, but the way that the blood effects were done in this one was much worse than I had seen in other contemporary films. It seems like I could have done the effects for this movie, and I don't even know how to do effects. I can't really give this movie my seal of approval, but the ending does kind of give you a little bit of hope. All in all, I could have passed this movie up and not really thought more of it. It's not anything to scream about. But if you're a hardcore horror fan and you have an hour and a half to spend, you can check out Belith, The Demon of Incest, and not feel too cheated. As I was saying before, the character Leonello is a fencer. At one point in the movie, Leonello raises his sword up between his eyes and holds it like this. And I could have sworn he was going to say, Eye of Thundera! Give me sight beyond sight! Like in the Thundercats, you know, Lionel. But the movie didn't deliver. It wasn't in there. And as a child of the 1980s, I was quite disappointed. That's all I've got for day 19 of the 31 Days of Horror. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and get notifications going so that way you get word when I release a new video here at I Am The Ice Lord. And I am the Ice Lord. Thanks again for watching, and see you on day 20 of the 31 Days of Horror 2021. Bye.